Yeah, I got Mac OS X running on my iPad 2. Let's see, where there's the camera. The camera's always proof of the iPad 2, especially with the carbon fiber. Anyways, how did I get Mac OS X running on the iPad 2? Well, yes. Yes, there's a very cool, cool looking title. Mac OS X tablet, well, print, whatever. Claws? Spider leg? I don't, I don't freaking know what I'm doing. Okay, anyways, guys, this is a quick way to show you how to get a little kind of Mac tablet on the go out of your iPad 2. This has been covered by some other YouTubers, I'm aware of that. That's actually where I saw it originally, but I thought I'd share this very cool thing with you. Um, so yeah, how did I get this on here? Okay, well, it's a very cool app. It's called Splashtop. You may have heard of it. You may not have heard of it. There's an iPhone version and Android client, I know, for, at least for the Motorola Zoom. And I think the Galaxy 10.1 tab, Galaxy Tab, whatever that one. Yeah, uh, and iPhone iPod Touch. Now, this allows you to control your Windows 7 or your, like, Mac from your iPad to iPad, you know, whatever, the list of devices I just covered. So, you can see exactly right now, I can pretty much exactly just control my MacBook, which is on the other side of my house right now, actually. Um, I can control it right now, and you can see it. Oh, okay, I don't want to zoom like that. If I do two fingers. Oh, it's still loading. Okay. Cool, cool. I see how this is going to work. I see how this is. Okay, so let's just grab this. Scroll down. And you could do two fingers scrolling like this. I just like the bar for this personally. But you can see it pretty much does offer the full Mac. Exp oh, nope. Hold on, wrong thing. I want to go to YouTube. But it is pretty accurate touch, you know, when I'm not failing. When I don't fail like a boss. Um... One cool thing though is it does give you a full Mac experience because when you like this, you tap play. Uh, you remember a long time ago. I yeah, you can tell it's actually forwarding sound uh, from my MacBook Pro or my iMac if I choose to connect it to that, to my iPad. So it's a very, very nice feature of this uh, application. Now let me just show you how to get this application. Now obviously this application does require a client on the Mac. I'll show you how to get that in a second. Real quick. So you can see it's called Splash Tap Remote Desktop for iPad. I believe the app's like a dollar ninety nine, or at least it was when I bought it. It might be up to like even I wanna say maybe the highest like five dollars. I'm not completely sure. Uh I'll put the official price in the description. If not, just check it out. But no matter how much it is, I think it, at the most it's like ten dollars maybe. Um but even at that it's definitely worth it. I love using this app. I know I'm going to Chicago this Sunday, so that note videos might be off for a while. Um but anyways, the fact that I'm going to Chicago, it's like, I'm probably going to take my MacBook Pro with me, but if I decided to, I could easily control my iPad, or I could easily control my MacBook Pro from my iPad, and you can see it's all with this one app, Splash Top, and this does let you connect multiple computers. In fact, if you're on Windows 7, like the Windows 7 boot camp of my MacBook, um, you can even hook it up to your Gmail account and control it from anywhere you have an internet connection, whereas this requires a local connection. Okay, so let me just type in my password. Which is nice, it does have a password to lock it so people can't just get into it. One second, I just failed at typing my password. Okay, so you can see it says connecting computer. And I'll show you guys real quick. Okay, you can see it says hold for right click. Let me just bring that a little bit closer. Uh, hold for right click, you can just tap. Uh, like tap and move is mouse over. Uh, three finger tap is controls. Um, yeah, okay. And then drag, you can however many, and Windows scrolling is two, and then three is to drag the screen around. So it looks like. Oh, I don't. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't really use that multi touch that much. So and then if you do want to pull up your keyboard, let me show you. Let me see if I can focus in right there. Okay, you got a little keyboard button right there. And it can pull up your keyboard. Now it does have a shift, a control, an alt, command, etc. Tab, F1, F3, F12. Buttons, yeah, don't don't bother with the swipe. Ignore the swipe line for now. Uh, delete, and then a, even like write a note thing. So if I want to write something in, but you can see it's a very very cool thing. Uh, again, just it's in the App Store now. There is one client you have to get. So let me just Google. Let me see if I can. Let's go back to the app. The app always tells you right here. 
so you can see it does have very high ratings and it just recently got an update which is what made me remember I even had it because I forgot but this is great you can even play like Minecraft or something off it very hard to but you, it's doable quick so let's see if they've got a website that we can go to real quick for a quick link for us do they have a quick link quick link where are you okay or not let's just search it up real quick shall we you know what for the sake of things let's use this one again hold on in fact I'm gonna have to pull it off for the Google search I think because I think it is location so we'll pull it off real quick let me just pull this off real quick and so I'll give you something to stare at I guess hold on let me get you something I won a long time ago in school stare at this pig Okay, enjoy the white, or in, not white, enjoy the orange pig real quick. While I search this up. Okay, so let's see, splash top. Ah, okay, goodbye Mr. Pig, I found it. Okay, so splash top remote desktop, lets you present in style, whatnot. Oh yeah, so it does support Windows, uh, Mac, uh, Android, oh wow, WebOS, um, whatnot, bunch of different stuff. And let's see. Okay, so you can see, you just get the streamer for your computer. It is capable of Windows 7. Oh, okay, that's why I don't like to use multi-touch gestures. Capable of Windows 7 support, uh, Mac OS support. Uh, this is being demonstrated on my MacBook Pro and the iPad 2. But you can see it's virtually no lag for actual scrolling. It's pretty much exactly the same as if I was on my actual MacBook Pro. The touch input's very, very good when it's not being stupid like this. Don't be stupid on camera. Don't be as stupid though. Okay, but yeah. Uh, very good app. Definitely worth the money. Uh, I got it for a bargain. I got it for, I think, a dollar when it was on sale. So definitely worth it. Check this out, guys. Uh, in the App Store, App Market, or whatever. This is Matt from Ultimate Safe Source. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.